Welcome back. Now with the distribution of the COVID vaccine underway, the next challenge becomes how to make people feel more comfortable with returning to offices and other places. It's where air purifiers could come into play. And the reason why my next guest is seeking emergency approval from the FDA to help fight the pandemic. For more, I'm joined by Joe Urso. He's the chairman and CEO of Active Pure Technologies. Joe, welcome. And what do you need FDA approval for specifically? Thanks, Kelly. Well, FDA approval is very important because that clearance gives the assurances to people that you're bringing medical grade protection to everyday places like businesses and schools and homes. And in fact, Kelly, we already have it with our Aris Medical Guardian, where we, we demonstrated enormous kill rates against RNA viruses and other pathogens. And we're now bringing it to the FDA to approve us for our specific tests on the SARS-CoV-2 virus, both in the air and on surfaces. I'm reading your client list already is impressive. If it includes the Cleveland Clinic, uh, MLB, you know, uh, universities, Mississippi State, um, state capitol building. So it would seem like words getting around regardless, right? Well, it is, it is slowly, but I, I'd say we're just scratching the surface on it. Um, and there's a lot more work to do to try to help people get back to life as we know it. What specifically does your air filter do? So for those of us who are concerned about going back into a restaurant, is it the kind of peace of mind where I say, okay, well, I'm okay going into a restaurant that has an air purifier in it, but I'm not with one that doesn't, for example. Um, you know, is it, is it that kind of kind of get out of jail free card or does it not quite, you know, make things perfectly safe? I'm sure nothing can. Well, let's say this, it complements other solutions and put in a material way. We recently got our test results back from the University of Texas Medical Lab, where we killed 99.9 percent, more than that actually, of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that was nebulized at over 10 million particles per milliliter. We killed them in just three minutes. And that kind of protection, that kind of real-time protection that basically attacks the virus at its source, literally as it's coming out of your mouth, creates an enormous safety net. And, and while nothing's perfect, you know, God help you if someone should cough in your face, um, or something like that, mm -hmm. it could be problematic, but it would make a material difference in giving peace of mind to help, help businesses reopen. But do you think if this were widely deployed, that would actually go a long way towards getting us back to normal, no matter what's happening with uh, vaccines and so forth? Well, I do. I really do. And I think what we're seeing, Kelly, right now, and working with government agencies and, and other uh, bus major businesses, is that this type of solution has become almost an expected uh, level of protection for patrons and uh, and their employees. So I, I do believe that this this technology will in fact become ubiquitous over time as people become more aware of as we are now of the risks that we have from airborne pathogenic diseases. I know I'm thinking you know what maybe we should get one in our house. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> website. Joe thanks for joining us uh, to explain it. Really appreciate it. Thank you sir. Thank you Kelly. Joe or so. The pandemic also giving both